Raytheon is a, a large government contractor with a, a worldwide presence. BBN and Raytheon are both concerned with uh, developing state-of-the-art uh, systems that can do sensing, communication, and processing uh, in uh, the best possible way. We have expertise in superconducting circuits, both for quantum computation and classical cryogenic computation. We have expertise in quantum optics and are interested in quantum communications, uh, including quantum key distribution. And finally, we're interested in novel quantum algorithms. Oftentimes, academic labs uh, have demonstrated some new uh, quantum phenomena that we believe can be harnessed uh, in, a, in an application uh, or a system uh, in the near future. We build a partnership with those labs and collaborate with them on engineering those uh, novel phenomena into larger systems and scalable systems that can be used in applications. So at BBN, we're widely interested in uh, various kinds of computing technology that operate at cryogenic temperatures. Uh, there are uh, two main research thrusts that we have in uh, cryogenic computing. One is uh, focused on high performance computing with a type of circuit called a single flux quantum uh, circuit. Uh, these, um, these are circuits that are intended to enable the next generation of exascale computing. Um, the other type of technology that we work on is um, quantum computing. And we build uh, uh, superconducting circuits uh, that behave like uh, artificial atoms. We essentially can engineer the energy structure of the quantum mechanical energy structure of a circuit such that uh, it behaves as a, as a quantum bit or a qubit. And so just last year, uh, we showed for the first time that a quantum computer uh, could outperform a classical computer by factors of, of hundreds to, if not thousands. So in our lab, we spend a lot of time investigating the theoretical and experimental observations of the quantum mechanical nature of light. And we go on to understand how we can use those properties um, to enhance both classical and quantum information applications. We're actually investigating the physical quantum mechanical nature of light and looking at how we can capitalize on the quantum mechanical nature of light to provide new paradigms in uh, information security. The emerging field of integrated nanophotonics allow us to do two things. One is to um, vastly miniaturize the size of the experiments that are being done. and As opposed to using very strong lasers, which we've traditionally used, we can use more modest sized lasers. Uh, but uh, create nonlinear processes in integrated circuits, um, which then can generate things like non classical light, which can be used for radically new paradigms in information security. We always work to get results and publish them in high visibility, high impact journals. Our projects always involve experimentalists working closely with physical theorists and information theorists. Light is a fundamentally quantum object, hence to understand the fundamental limits of performance that drive the performance of optical information processing systems. One must invoke tools from quantum estimation theory and information theory, as well as a full quantum description of the light field, the measurements and the processes. So leveraging the quantum properties of light enables us to design communication systems uh, so as we, to ensure that the information that is encoded and communicated is kept secure from being decoded by an arbitrarily powerful adversary allowed by physics. The information in a photon or info was a project that was funded by DARPA. BBN led two teams on that program. Uh, the goal of the project was to figure out the ultimate information efficiency, the efficiency with which information can be encoded in a photon in the context of communication and imaging. In BBN, we have been studying the relativistic hydrodynamics of the electrons in graphene and to harness these special properties to detect a single photon. So the electrons and holes in graphene has a very limited phase space. Once they absorb the electromagnetic wave, they will be excited into a high temperature. So making use of these properties, we can detect light down all the way down to a single photon level by measuring the photons, 
we can decipher the quantum information that is encrypted in the photons by measurements. For this graphene project, we have been collaborating with uh, the research groups at Harvard University as well as in MIT. Uh, working with them is a lot of uh, inspirations and more importantly, fun. So to really develop a system that can uh, really take advantage of something completely new, there have to be experts that understand the fundamental physics. There have to be experts that can uh, understand the engineering uh, involved in scaling to, to larger systems. And there have to be experts that understand the applications of, of um, that phenomenon. Uh, it's rare for any institution to have that expert expertise at all three layers. And so in almost all cases, uh, we have to build um, teams that can tackle these very challenging problems. And these teams consist of uh, ourselves, other companies, government labs as well as university labs.